Patience. Now, one thing leads to the other. We have got a torqued cranium. And this is, this by the way, is common, or, or variations of it. We hopefully will see a little bit of this later on when we, when we get to the table. But there are resultant effects from this, one of which, well, a number of them actually. For those of you uh, practitioners here, particularly, we have seen how Henry's head is lower on this side than, the, than this side. In other words, that cranium is rotated like so, like so, torqued like so. Here we have <coughs> where that head, that cranium meets the first vertebra. This will be interesting to some of the practitioners here. And because of the distortion that we have with Henry, and the fact that the first vertebra articulates with Henry here, what's going to happen to that first vertebra, the atlas? It's going to have to go with this, and it's also going to have to go like so. Can we see where we're going? We are beginning to see the beginning of the domino effect here whereby the alignment that we have here is being, uh, is being processed right through the atlas, da 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 right down to the end. We're going to have a, a follow my leader patterns that were set up uh, right through the vertebrae, and quite often, as I say, some of the practitioners may find this challenging, but sometimes uh, that, that's quite a good thing here. Quite often, and, and I've been there, where we are analyzing a spine, we come to a conclusion that we have a number of what I, what I refer to as segmental lesions in the spine, but which are not really, they're secondary. 